guys, welcome back. I'm um, just going to show you how to put together the Viva Lure. Uh, everybody knows this fly, but I don't know if I've tired of the channel, so um, that's probably the only reason why I'm sticking it on here. So I'm just doing a half a dozen up for a friend, and this is the last one. So the hook in the vase is a Camazon B175 and size 8. The thread that I'm going to use is the Uni 3880 in black to tie the fly. So I'm just going to come in and get my thread started behind the other hook. I'm just going to work my thread down until we pass the point of the hook. Then remove the, the waist tag of thread. Now the tail, you can use many different um, materials. I'm just going to use some, this is Marabou. Uh, it's been dyed chartreuse. Just take them off a couple of pinches. I just see at the ends here. I just like to get in with my nail and just try and reduce that back a bit in relation to the bulk. Offer this up to the hook, run with a pinch and loop, and then just work on my thread turns back down towards the tail. I'll just come in and just take away these wee ragged ends a bit of a taper cut then I'll come in and get the length that I wish to have the tail which is about there now at this point the rib I'm just going to use a uni miner in uh, silver and gold in size 14 I want the, the silver side so I'm just going to tie them with the, the gold side facing myself. I'm going about the, the length of the body or so. Now the body itself, I've had this for a long, long time. I don't even know if it's still made or manufactured anymore. This is the, the Spartan wool, the car drip. But geez, I've had that from Pussy was a kitten. Now it's too, it's a two strand wool, um, it's like a nylon. But you don't need, don't use two strands. Would be my view. Just strip it strip a strand out and this will give you a far um, smoother body um, if you use the, the two strands you'll just create like a bit of a lump at the back of the fly now, just going to work my thread forward just tying everything in at this point just nice and tight now, what I try and do here is because sometimes the wee bits of marabou and stuff will come through your thread turns what I like to do is, I'll just shorten the bobbin, is tilt my thread. My thread turns are going towards the back of the of the hook. Just catching everything in, as you can see there, hopefully. And just trying to reduce, the onion comes straight. Just trying to reduce the amount of just wee niggly bits that might come through on you. Just to there. A bit there. We'll just take that away. Then we can bring up our Spartan wool, and this will go nice and flat. So you just run your your fingers through it, and just bring up your wool. It, it's as tough as old boots, this Spartan wool. So if you you lose the rib here and you tie this fly properly, because it will get hammered by rainbows. That's a a fly this will catch anywhere in the world. Just catch that in. And then come in and trim over the waist. The body will still be in, intact for you. I used to love the, the weight in it. Don't know if I've got the weight I'll check for the for the baby doll fly. Now, I'm looking four or five turns of the mailar of the body. Catch that in, come in and trim away the waist. The wing, just looking some black marabou. Now it's a fly this year that everybody everybody can tie. Um, even the beginner. I think it's in some of the books. Now that's our marabou, so I'm just looking to take two pinches of the marabou. And I just collect it in my hands. And I do the same as I did with the tail. Strip out any just try and reduce the bulk at the bottom. 
off of this up to the hook around with a pinching loop nice and tight and then just come in and just lift the, the marabout and get a nice tight cut everything back your threads ready at the eye at this point and then we can start to build up and shape the head here a bit so just work it up and down don't be shy with the head on this fly either you want a decent head on it now I know some boys who I've tied fly for the leg the tail or the wing sorry that length I'm just gonna reduce that until it's sort of way coming half way into the tail. Now I'm just going to put a couple of strands of flesh in, and this is just the chartreuse um, micro flesh. So I'll just offer this up into the wing. Just fold that back. Just tie back up over the top. And again, just taking my thread up and down, just shaping the head. Come and trim that away. And then I'm just going to come in and throw in a whip finish. Now you could leave it like this. I'm just going to put a, a collar on. Just using the whip finish in here, just to shape the head. There's a wee step here down at the bottom. I'm going to try and reduce that. Pull the thread nice and tight. Come in and trim away the the tan thread. Right. Just get everything to sit back for us. Glow bright floss number 12. Just a wee collar. Just in here. Come on and trim away the, the waist tag. Then I'm just going to work my thread back. Or sorry, the glow bright floss back. Just creating that wee hot collar. Keeping your glow bright floss tight, come in and throw in a work finish. Nice and tight, come in and trim away the, the glow bright floss now. See at times I hate to see people slabbering all over their flies and trying to slick that back. So what I do is when I'm sitting tying these nests is the the sixth one. I'll just take a, this is just a drink straw. Just trim a bit off and just offer that over the, the wing. Then we're going to come in and just super glue. Just right the whole way right around. And then let that dry. Then we'll varnish. Just to show you, here's one here that's been varnished. Right. It's just to leave the straw on it instead of slabbering all over the fly. Then you can take the straw off, and that's the wee fly there. So, just a wee, just a basic technique that. Just put the straw over it, let it all dry instead of slabbering like a dog and slicking it all back. So, look. There you go, tie that wee up, that wee of evil up. Uh, let me know how you get on if you're out chasing the rainbows this winter. If you are out, tight lanes, and uh, see you on the next one guys.